Hi, and welcome to the Get Started Fast with Avid Pro Tools S6 video series. My name is Gil Gowing, Pro Audio Solutions Specialist for Avid. With S6 1.2, spill and other miscellaneous enhancements have been added to further the functionality and usability of the Surface. In this video, we will look at these features and enhancements in more detail. Spill functionality has been a top request from customers since S6 was introduced and is now available in the S6 version 1.2 software release. Spill on S6 can be invoked from a VCA master, Pro Tools only at this time, and it requires Pro Tools 11.2. Spill works by pressing and holding the menu switch on the VCA master, then pressing either adjacent switch to spill either to the left or right of the master. The easiest way to do this is to press the menu switch, then roll your finger left or right onto the adjacent switches. The menu switch on the VCA master will turn green, and the menu switch on the VCA slaves will turn orange. The master slave LEDs also light up to identify if a channel is a master or slave. Press the green menu switch on the VCA master to collapse the VCA spill. While a group is spilled, you can attention slaves to the master automation modules to have a more detailed overview of that particular channel. You can also spill a VCA master from the attention track from the automation module. If a VCA master is spilled from the automation module's attention track, attentioning a slave or any other channel will collapse the spilled group. Also, there needs to be enough channels available on either side of the VCA master to display the spilled group, as you cannot bank the spilled channels. Banking when a group is spilled will also collapse the group. Other miscellaneous enhancements in the S6 1.2 software release are The clear process switch allows you to clear or set a parameter to default by either pressing a knob top or touching a fader. Knob automation LEDs now function to show when a parameter is either automation enabled in green or writing automation in red. The fader value is now delayed before returning back to the channel name on the fader module OLED display. The cancel and OK LED switches on the fader module flash when there is a dialog on the DAW screen, green for a focused workstation or amber for a non-focused workstation. The All switch now works on all layers of the process and knob modules. A preference to control KVM switching from either Geffen or GND units when switching workstations. New switch functions on the master module, including tracks, settings, display 1 and 2. Game reduction metering on the fader module, display module, and master module exploded track view. Bouncing Ball Dynamics Graph on the Display Module and Master Module Exploded Track View for Avid Channel Strip and Pro Compressor. Pro Tools Soft Key Assignments have been expanded and optimized. So as you can see, having Spill on S6 really opens up the workflow possibilities. With this and other miscellaneous enhancements, S6 keeps growing as a modern, high-end control surface with best-in-class functionality. Thanks for watching and let S6 inspire your creativity.